chicken and a pizza. Pizza bread and a bagel. In the losing fight against childhood obesity, the federal government wants to enlist the lunch ladies in the battle. Do not feed donuts to your obese children. You will the challenge, making those healthier meals affordable. And the U.S. federal debt has hit its highest level in over 60 years. But they won't forgive you when they're getting picked last for P.E. Don't you say? Hi, um, I'll have a number three with no cheese, no tomato, no Augusto Speaker, save some room for later. As a history of obesity, you got a polycystic ovary. I say it's just the way God made me. It's unlikely statistically to be a physical thing. But either way, it don't explain why you are in the queue at Burger King. You can blame it on biology. You can blame your physiology. You go to Canada or you go to a different country and they have standards there. They have regulations put in place so fast food companies can't use a cleaning product in order to sanitize the beef. Hey, SpaghettiOs! You like SpaghettiOs? He looks like yep. a clean sheet. Empty cans at half price. Microsoft went down three points. We gotta save some money. Kitty stuff of your kids are fat of you notice that and you ought to be ashamed For you only have yourself to blame Your five-year-old princess in her size 14 tutu Only eats pizza like that because you do She'll be dead of a heart attack before your grandchildren are ten Perhaps you'll consider a cutback on extra fries then. Bumbalada, kitty stuff of your kids are fat. If you notice that, what you gonna do about that? What you gonna do? So you're telling me that your family has a history of obesity. You've got the polycystic ovary. Your mum had childhood diabetes. But and in your case, there's a reasonably big butt. Do you think it's an appropriate treat? The all you can eat at Pizza Hut, there's no excuse, you silly goose.